Alright, so I'm going to be fighting this underwater crazy fish monster again. Uh, Titus fought this at the beginning of the game. It, it has a chance to drop a really nice weapon with an ability that has no encounters on it, so hopefully we'll get that. It's a 50% chance. First we're going to poison it, and then we're going to cast Hastiga. This boss is actually extremely risky as well, because he knows Stone Punch, which can instantly kill one of my uh, one of my allies, but fortunately the stone effect didn't go off, so that's good. So let's keep on using items, I'm going to be using Fire Gym. This does about 5,000 damage, a little bit less, maybe like 4,500. Alright, and walk his turn. Attack. This monster is also immune to pretty much everything except poison. Quick hit. KO Punch can instantly kill any of my guys as well. We dodged it. Poison went off, 3000 damage. And this should be the final hit. Or, if not, we're getting really close. Alright, it's dead. Easy boss. Hopefully we get a weapon. Do, do, do. What do we get? Switch hitter, yes. So if we go to Waka and look at the switch hitter, it has a no encounters ability, which is excellent. We can use that on the Thunder Plains to successfully dodge the 200 lightning bolts for uh, Lulu's legendary weapon. So yeah, hopefully you enjoyed that, and have a nice day.